Hello, this is DreamlineStudio.com and today we're going to learn how to create an AS3 Flash website by using simple commands such as stop, go to frame, the hyperlink so you can link up to external websites, email so people can email you. Um, these are basically the functions on how to create a Flash website. I'll be providing you with uh, the source and also the code to make this all happen. So let's go ahead and just start with the first step. Okay, first things first, you're going to need the AS3 action script in order to go along with this tutorial. Um, everything's already set in a text file, so you're ready to go. And how you get that is you go to dreamlinestudio.com, uh, scroll down to the bottom to the footer, and click on this link. It's a zip file, and it has everything you need, um, all the, all the, um, the action script, for you to complete this tutorial. All right, before we start, head on over to dreamlinestudio.com and download the uh, AS3 support files, which is basically a text file that has all the AS3 action script so you can copy and paste as we go along with the tutorial. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create a new action script 3.0 document. So let's go ahead and click this here. Now what we're going to do is import flash buttons for the navigation and so forth. I already created these in Photoshop so I'm going to go to file import and we're going to import these inside of the uh, library. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, email us for the email. I'm going to use a uh, miscellaneous for a miscellaneous hyperlink and last but not least we'll go ahead and use a uh, a hyperlink for an external website. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is place these graphic buttons into movie clips. So we're going to go with uh, insert, new symbol, and our first button is the email button. So we'll go and create that. Um, and then you go into your library panel by pressing Control L on your keyboard. This panel should pop up take this uh, email graphic email and then place it right in there place it put the corner right in the crosshairs you um, basically repeat the process with the other these other two buttons so we'll go ahead and do that uh, movie clip um, and then miscellaneous okay grab this miscellaneous JPEG drop it there and then do the last one for the last button um, insert new symbol, make sure that's movie clip. Uh, we'll name this uh, website. And that's just going to link to an external website. And then drop this website JPEG and drop it there. Okay, so now your library panel should look like this. Again, bringing up the library panel by pressing Control L. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag down uh, drag these movie clips onto the stage. So uh, let's go ahead and take our email button, drop it there, our miscellaneous here, and our website here. And then we'll go ahead and just organize it um, a bit. Okay. And now uh, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to add an instance name for each one. So um, you select email us and then go to your properties panel. Okay, and then we're going to add the instance name here. And we're going to add uh, email me for the instance name. Uh, for the website button, we're going to add. Um, visit URL and the miscellaneous we're gonna go ahead and put in MISC okay now let's give these buttons some actions so what we're gonna do is create a new layer label this actions select the first frame press F9 on your keyboard to bring up your actions palette um, now with the code that I'm about to give you all you gotta do is copy the code and paste it. Okay. Now, if you look at the code in here, you'll see that you can actually change. Uh, you know, you're able to come in here and change the uh, the URL of the button, also the um, 
the uh, miscellaneous button and also the uh, mail to so everything's connected to these buttons and if we were to test that uh, let's go ahead and test that you can tell that if you did the, uh, the email us um, it'll bring up your email um, also bring up uh, the website which is uh, our website here and then also the miscellaneous so you're pretty much set after that uh, the next thing you want to do is go to these buttons here and you want to make them act like a button so um, let's bring up your your properties panel up here and then from movie clip you want to choose button and you want to repeat the process with uh, with with both of these with the button now let's go ahead and test it out by hitting control enter on your keyboard and as you can see um, it, it works as a button now okay now that the buttons are active let's go ahead and add some backdrop to the website so uh, what we're going to do is create another layer and we're going to call this backdrop and we're going to drop this to the bottom we're going to drag and drop it to the bottom and then we're going to import the uh, the backdrop. Now I already created this in Photoshop, but you can create it um, however you want it to. Um, uh, there it is. There's the backdrop. Uh, basically, um, we want to drop this right in there, right underneath the buttons. I realize it's pretty simple, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add two buttons on the navigation, top navigation. So uh, we're going to go and create another layer, call this home, another layer, and call it page one so that we have a two-page website. Okay. Um, with, uh, with home selected, um, you want to select the first frame. I'm going to create a box here for the button and create a simple box right in there. Okay, I'm going to select that. I'm going to go Control-C for copy go to my page one layer uh, select that frame one and then control V for paste now I want to take these uh, graphics here these uh, square graphics and turn them into buttons so I'm going to right click and convert them to symbol and I'm going to call this uh, home just name that home uh, right click convert to symbol and I'm going to call this page one so that we have a two page a home and page one website. Now we need to add um, instance names to these buttons. So I'm going to select this one, go to my properties. I'm going to call this home. Select uh, the second button, call this page one. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to add stop actions to the frames. Um, now, since this is multiple pages, we're going to have to need we're going to need multiple frames. So, I would select uh, two frames here. Just grab these here and then hit F5. Okay, you're going to create multiple frames at this point. Um, create another layer and name this stop. Select the first frame and press F6 twice. Okay. At this point, you're going to need to select the first frame and uh, and add the stop action to it. So um, so we're going to grab our our actions frame here, which is F9, and then paste the uh, the stop action on this frame um, on the first frame, and then also select the second frame and paste. Uh, another stop action so that your timeline looks similar to this. Alright, so actually we're almost done with the uh, completion of the site, um, but I'm going to actually need a part two for this video in order to complete it. But in the meantime, um, head on over to DreamlineStudio.com and download the uh, AS3 support files. Now, this, this download basically will have all the code that we've, we've been talking about in the tutorial. That way you're, you'll be able to copy and paste these codes in and um, get everything working. So uh, why don't you head over to part two of this video and we'll finish up the project.